What's good, everybody? So, I don't look the best. Uh, quarantine, I'm on quarantine right now, so that quarantine is kind of like getting to me. Uh, so I ain't shaking my face, wearing my earrings, and I got my, uh, my hair out. How I, it's just grown out, it's just grown out. But first off, 2020 was a rough year, I think for a lot of people, I don't, I don't care um, who you are, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it kind of affected you in some way, shape, or form. So while on this quarantine, I have some time to reflect and think about some of the things that, uh, some of the hardships that I went through, some of the lessons that I learned, and I thought that I'd go ahead and share these lessons with you guys. Um, Feel free to let me know what y'all think about the things that I'm gonna talk about. If you had some similar experiences to what I had, or if you, you know, just wanna share something, feel free to leave it inside the comment section below. Make sure that you like the video before you go anywhere else, and then hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, whatever the case may be, just go and hit that, and you'll be part of the gang, part of the squad, you know what I'm saying? Go to Wayne, go to Wayne, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's go ahead and get started, man. Uh, let's not even waste any time. Uh, so I write down my thoughts inside my little book right here. This is my book. I write down all my thoughts in here and I just had to go ahead and jot this down because um, it felt like it was going to be a good informational fun topic to talk about. First thing I want to talk about is that leap of faith, man. Being able to see that you want something, act on what you want, and go out and go do it. You know what I'm saying? Creating that plan of action or just, just, just all around not dwelling on anything taking that leap of faith there's the, there's this business that you want to start up there's the youtube channel that you want to start up there's a clothing line that you want to start up there's a, a cookbook that, that you want to write or um you want to start uh this is funny one of my nco's in my unit he, he he likes doing reviews on movies and he wanted to start up a youtube channel so you know what i'm saying like being able to be proactive on what you want out of life, being able to go and, and and seize that moment and take that leap of faith. That's what I really learned in 2020. Granted, I was deployed most of 2020, but whenever I got back stateside, I found myself um, kind of stagnant and not really, really uh, taking life by the horns and, and capitalizing on my opportunities. So um, as I got more accustomed and, and kind of like, like, I'm itchy all over. Suited to being back home, that's whenever I started taking these 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 um, these chances and 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 going out and doing these do, doing different things to to broaden my spectrum, right? And that's something that I think in 2021 is is really going to be a key role because everything that's that's still going on in 2020 is still going on in 2021. All right, so it hasn't changed. You just got to adapt and overcome and just be able to take more chances. You know what I'm saying? Number two is massive amounts of exposure. If you really want to be able to to produce, uh, get a following, there is this TikToker. I forget his name, but he's always like, "What's up, big dogs?" You know what I'm saying? That guy. Uh, I don't know how big his following is on on TikTok, but um, he just started up a YouTube channel like maybe a month or two ago, and he already has like seven thousand followers. And I'm pretty sure most of that stuff came from TikTok. So creating a a, a follow base or a a, a platform or or maximizing your exposure, whether it be on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, um, Thriller, um, any any other social media streaming sites, you know, uh, will allow you to, to maximize your exposure, get you out there to different people that hasn't seen your face before, or be like, um, you have those conversations with your with your group of friends and be like, hey man, you, you ever seen this dude? And be like, yeah, I've seen that guy, he's awesome. Oh, you have? Oh, damn. You like him a lot? Yeah, I like him a lot. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and follow him, too. Because, you know, obviously, he, your friend liked the message. Now, word of mouth, basically. Right? Massive amounts of big people. Number three is ride the lightning. Uh, shit might be bad, but shit doesn't last forever. Like, bad shit doesn't, doesn't last forever, guys. Um, my time in Afghanistan really showed me that because um, shit was really bad, man. I, I mean... Um, not being able to see family, not being able to go and, and really like go do things that I enjoy doing, just being stagnant and, and stationary in one spot, um, and all that stuff. It really like took a toll on me, but I did a lot of things that could prepare my mental to do greater things. I did, I did things that helped me out in some way, shape or form, right? Ride the lightning guys. I mean, 
it's going to be bad, but as long as you're out there doing something that's going to change your out, change your situation, change the outcome, or put you in a better situation after that that bad thing is done with, you're doing okay. This is how I process bad shit, in a sense, right? Um, I feel the pain, so that means I grieve. I, I do whatever I got to do to, like, you know, in that moment to, you know, feel that pain, right? I feel it. I understand the pain. What what got me in that situation, right? Or what happened around me that put me in that situation. And the next thing is, is that I create a plan of action to exit that situation and make make a better outcome. Get myself in a better situation. Understand that to where the next time that stuff comes around, I'll be better equipped, right? And look, this one, this one is very, very important. This one is very, very important. And, and this is gonna be like a little spill real quick. Um, your support system. Your support system is everything. Uh, my friends, my family, people that I went to basic AIT with, they have, have they have been the biggest supporters of me in the year 2020. They really have. Um, from YouTube, photography, uh, business, period. Um, any anything that I'm going through, like any, anytime I need to call somebody up, they're they're always free and well not always free, but always willing to help me out, man. And I'll do the same for them. My support system is everything. I honestly, if it wasn't for them, my friends and family, you know, telling me that they're proud of me or or giving me words of affirmation to keep me going on this journey of what I'm what I'm trying to do for myself and the people around me, I honestly probably would have gave up long long time ago because um, I think being able to to to, to do something for yourself and people fuck with what you're doing especially friends and family makes it that much better right it 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 makes you wear this like it's, it gives you like this sense of pride uh accomplishment um a sense of purpose in a sense like honestly I thank y'all. Y'all have actually kept me going. I mean, I get I get hit up by friends and be like, "Hey man, when the next video coming out?" Uh, or, or anytime I was in like a, a dark, deep situation or a dark situation, like you know, they'd be there to help me out. It's, I mean, like literally, guys. If if I haven't, if you know who you are, man. If I fuck with you, bro, or you fuck with me, bro, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Okay, 2020, 2021 is gonna be about. One, chasing a bag and connections with your people, bro. How can you build those 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 soul ties with people? You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say thank y'all, friends and family. Y'all did that, okay? And followers and supporters of me, thank y'all, right? Support system. And okay, so this one I, I honestly I honestly debated on okay, so this one I honestly debated on actually making this a point, but um this was a big part of my 2020 and I felt like I it was, it was something that I realized and that's something that I I, um, I hold near and dear. Granted, this situation isn't ongoing anymore, but it showed me my potential. It showed me what I can do for my future family. So um, just to give you a little back brief, I was in a relationship with a woman. Uh, she had a kid. Um, it was really it was serious at the time. And um, I held that situation, I held that relationship near and dear to my heart. And see, one of the things that really like stood out to me about that whole relationship is that um, with her daughter, um, it kind of showed me what kind of man and father I can be for a child and a woman, right? And I know that <laughs> I know that that is going to be. A awesome a awesome experience and an awesome thing to be able to provide for somebody other than myself i can't I, i'm i'm patient but i but i'm i'm patient but i'm eager to meet that woman to meet that kid that child that i defeat that future family i know it's gonna be straight all right y'all so that's really all i got for you guys today um and i hope y'all enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and i'll let you go out Oh, and guns, bro. Hey, I do I do plan on doing more gun videos. I do plan on doing more gun videos, but um, that's neither here nor there. I'll holler at y'all later, all right?